Hello and welcome to this Kerbal Space Program video. Today, uh, it's a special video, the commentary is being recorded live. I am currently playing Kerbal Space Program as I speak inside the vehicle assembly building with this Starship prototype that you see before you. And we're going to attempt to launch belly flop and land. So here we are on the launch pad, turn the lights on the SES, we want to make sure that we're on relative to the ground, port maneuver node, and also this bit which will tell us how much thrust, and what the thrust to weight ratio of the starship is, we don't want it too high. Ah, no, that one, thank you. Activate our vector engines, which are Raptor stand-ins, and lift off. Going to aim for about 10 kilometers on this one. Pushing over slightly, so we get out out of the way of the pad for safety. And climbing up. Going to reduce throttle, so we're not putting too much aerodynamic stress on the uh, Starship prototype. This isn't meant to be a replica of any particular Starship, although it has taken quite a few design cues from the SN8. It does like exploding on landing, which SN8 did quite well. Um, bit of design from the SN9, however, uh, it still has both of its fins. It's not been damaged by falling over in the vehicle assembly building. Uh, nine, 8, 9, Kilometers, 10 kilometers, Miko. So it does have working body flaps, which is nice, and Werner engines for uh, a little bit of assistance. Uh, our props is decreasing slightly. We might not breach 10k, but we're going to get within 0.1 of a kilometer by the looks of the maybe not. We're, we're going to get within a within a kilometre, right. Beginning to fall now, so we're going to pitch over to point north, or normal. And we're now falling. Our body flaps aren't really doing that much. They're not particularly very effective. The, it's mostly the reaction wheels and RCS that are doing most of the uh, heavy lifting. Going to kick on our vectors as we begin descending, slowing ourselves down to stop there. Lock in our landing legs. And we are now descending rather quickly, we might need a bit more power for that. Coming in just to the south of the launch pad, which is wasn't really expected. Landing here nice and flat, so we don't really have too much of a risk of tipping over. Still carrying quite a bit of velocity as we're going down, we can sort that out closer to the time of A, landing, or B, exploding. Coming down, more power, more power, a lot more power, not as much power. Going back up again now, not what we want. Just be wasting fuel just hovering, and we've blown up, haven't we? Oh, 
Well, that went well. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you want to see more things like this, subscribe and ring the bell notification to make sure you stay up to date. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.